that uh, we just, uh, you know, emotionally, you know, you're just, you're drained at this point because of the anticipation of what could happen. And, you know, while uh, life without parole is obviously a very serious matter, at least his life has been spared. So uh, we move forward now with the motion for new trial. And if that doesn't work, then obviously an appeal. He just uh, said how sorry he was that he didn't think anyone deserved to die, particularly, you know, uh, intentionally. I, I think he was speaking of the victims as well as, as himself. In other words, uh, kind of saying to the judge, you know, please, you know, give me a chance. And that he was sorry, um, just like he said at, at the time of his testimony. He was regretful. He was very sorry that his actions had caused, you know, the injuries. He said the injuries as well as the deaths of the, uh, of the victims in this case. And um, he's, he's always been that way with us. He was, um, he was about to get emotional, and he was back and forth about whether he was going to speak or not, but he held it together. Well, you know, and I'll do respect to, to the jurors. Uh, I mean, I said it before and I say it now. I, I think that they got it wrong. I, I do think that they got it wrong. We appreciate their service. Um, it took a lot of time and a lot of, uh, you know, thought and deliberation. Um, but... Uh, I just can't get past, I can't get past Dr. Boudreaux's testimony and the medical evidence that said, as regards to Mr. Pitts, that the bullet went upward in the th thigh, rested in the scrotum, and he bled to death. And I've looked at that from every angle, and the only angle I can see is someone on the ground shooting up. Very easy um, for anybody involved in this kind of circumstance. Um, and I feel really, um, I'm, I'm proud to have known them, I'm just sad uh, under the circumstances that I had to get to know them. Um, you know, it's, it's among the choices that the judge had. Um, he followed the law exactly like he's supposed to. Um, the other sentences as well, which everyone tends to forget, um, are also significant. Uh, I think they were appropriate. Um, you know, and as all of us, I would much prefer this never had happened, that the judge never be put in a position of having to make these choices. Um, but given what we had, um, you know, we were seeking the death penalty. We didn't get it. Um, the only other option is life without. Um, so I'm glad that for the families it's over, at least this part of it.